what is up? What's been happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Cow Dudes. Today we find ourselves at Nathan's garage and we're going to be working on the Skyline today, Nathan. And we all know that modifying your car is uh, always good for going for power, but you need to be able to stop. So we've got some brake pads. We're just going to do a quick brake pad replacement today and we might do a few other things as well. So let's do it. JD has the back of the car in the air and he's taking the wheels off, getting the old pads out. While he's doing that, I'm going to grease up the new pads. Very important that you chuck on some kind of anti-seize grease um, on the pads, otherwise they will squeak. I made that mistake once, JD. You did, Nathan, and it didn't really work out for you, did it? Well, Nathan, here we are. We're about to start uh, on the left side of the car. We're starting at the back, Nathan, and uh, what we have here is a tripod with Why? a light. Oh, wow. And this so this is going to help us a lot today, Nathan. Is that so we can bring the best quality footage to you guys possible? But we're not bragging about it or anything. Nah, never. Because I'm running genuine wheels on that skyline, I have two lock nuts. <laughs> two different types? Two different types. Wow. Safety first, kids. Okay, it's very simple. It is literally just two tools that you'll need. You'll need a mallet. Trust me, you'll need this. And, uh... No, well, that's about it, Nathan. We all know it is very important to check your brakes on the regular, isn't that right, Nathan? Yes. And, uh, well, one way to check it would be to run your finger from the inside to the outside on the disc itself to check if there's any warping. If it is uneven, you take it in, get it skimmed. This one seems to be all good. Uh, we're just going to be replacing the brake pads today. On the Skyline R32, very straightforward. These two pins are held in with this clip. Uh, the brake pads then just slide out this way and the other ones just slide back in. Now that we have the pins off, we are going to uh, take a flathead and we're going to kind of pry the brake pad off just from the inside of the hub. And again, Nathan, with Nissan being absolutely just on the top of the game, they've given you these two holes which you can use your screwdriver with and uh, just start uh, prying it out using uh, the holes, Nathan. Too easy. It's got to i to walk it out sometimes. Now that we have the pads out, we can see that they are... Well, there's still a bit of meat left on them, Nathan. There's but, actually quite a bit, bro. But, you know, it's good to change them. It just saves you from doing it later on. Yes. Or you could just do it when you need them. That's right, Nathan. <laughs> Those pistons need to be pried back. Uh, I'm going to use a rag because I'll be pushing onto the disc brake. Try and use anything else to pry off from, but... In this case, we're going to be using the disc brake because that's the only thing that's there. Easiest and fastest way. Exactly, and it's uh, very straightforward. You put your flathead in between the disc brake and the piston. And you're just going to push back. And you'll feel it uh, moving back a bit. That'll give you more room for the brake pad. With, a, going. with a bit more meat on them, isn't that right, Nathan? Yep. There are pistons on both sides of the caliper, so you'd need to pry back both of them in order to make room for the new brake pads, which have, well... Heaps of meat! More than that. JD, as you would always say to me, I think the question that everyone wants to know is, because those brake pads are red, will they give you more power? Stop it, Nathan. I know, legit though. You're becoming a ricer, bro. Stop it. Look, bro, the red, the bright red. I think Nathan's gives my joke. You gotta stop it, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan did a great job with uh, putting. Uh, what did you put on there, Nathan? Copper, copper anti seize grease or something. It's especially for brake pads. Amazing. Well, these brake pads they do go in one way, and uh, you'll notice on one of the brake pads there is a little pin. Very crucial for putting that uh, to the side that's closest to the inner of the car. You grab it by the back, and you slide it right in. Very easy, Nathan. Wow. It's like a slippery gypsy. And again, Nathan. Another one. Look how slippery that is. Now that the brake pads are in, we're gonna be using this pins to put back in the hole that they came out of. We're first gonna do the bottom one, just like that. And then we're gonna be using this plate that we took off earlier. Um, that is gonna be 
well, held on with those pins. So slide the pin in first at the bottom and then put the plate in underneath as you can see. And now slide the top one in at the top while pushing that plate in. This is where you'll probably be using your mallet just to give it a bit of a tap. These pins have a Phillips head on them, which allow you to twist them with a screwdriver. Don't be mistaken, they do not have a thread. The only reason that they have a Phillips uh, head on them is so you can turn them to line up the holes to fit in that magical little pin that we took out earlier, Nathan. There we go, we're all done. And uh, Nathan, that's the back all sorted. We're gonna be moving to the front now and uh, a little bit of a different story at the front. We are now in the front of the car and uh, well it's the same Nathan as the back and it's uh, going to be the same process just removing that clip and that will pull out these two pins. The only thing different Nathan is that uh, well you'll be using a flathead and not a Phillips to be turning these pins but other than that same process. It's like a little mosquito Nathan. <laughs> I found that when uh, trying to get these pins out do you have to start prying, well, pushing it with your finger, but also wiggling it with the screwdriver, and that will allow you to create a nice little gap uh, for you to pull them out with. Whoa! Matt Dr Bush. Dramatic. Very nice, eh? Hey? Yes. You executed that one beautifully, my boy. Executed. They're out. They are out, Nathan. You got two piston calipers, mate. Woo! Woo! Yeah, they're pretty big as well. Woo! Mazad! Here you go! Here. And that one. I... Red. I can't hold all of it, Nathan. Why not? Because... Oh, okay, I'll, I'll hold one here. <laughs> um, as we can see, this... These front ones are actually, uh, well, a lot more worn than the rear ones, isn't that right, Nathan? Mm. There's still quite a bit of meat on them. Yeah, for but... sure. But they are definitely on their way out, and they would definitely need to be replaced. And again, it's just going to slide in, uh, well, like toast, Nathan. Like I toast? I think of this as toast. Actually, it's... what do you put in a toaster, though, JD? Brake pads, Nathan. Don't you do that? <laughs> oh, Nathan, I'm trying to put the toast in, but, you know, the toaster's not open. Do you put toast in the toaster? You're going to take your big flathead and you're going to pry open your pistons again uh, just to make room for the new new, new brake pads, mate. That's exactly it. Alright, here we go, bro. It's such a good feeling, eh, when you feel it, like, you feel it move, you know? Yeah, bro. Time to put the bread in the toaster. I just realized I said toast before. It's only toast after it comes out. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you before. <laughs> just like I didn't get that joke, stop it. Oh gosh, what are we doing with all that? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hammer the bread into the toaster, Nathan. <laughs> JD. Yes, no. Are you a butter or a margarine man when it comes to toast? Oh, I don't know, Nathan. It's a very tricky question, you know, because sometimes you don't have butter, but you do have margarine. Mm. Sometimes you do have margarine, but so, you don't have butter. So for you, it's pretty much what you have in the fridge. Something better than nothing, Nathan. Something to uh, note that these uh, brake pads will actually slide in quite a bit, but you would need to bring it back just to uh, get those two holes lined up. Um, so... When you do that, make sure you just bring it back just a little bit. And uh, that way you'll be able to slide your pin through uh, through the whole mechanism. That's a word, eh? Whoa! And again, when uh, both pads are in, you can then start putting in the bottom, bottom pin. That'll go in all the way. And then you can put your little plate back in. Uh, you start at the bottom. We'll just clip around the bottom edge and it'll kind of hook around. Uh, this should then just be able to hold those calipers in. Oh, sorry, hold the brake pads in. 
Uh, while you find your other pin, push it through. There you go. Done. Brilliant. Now you gotta put your little mosquito back, and uh, you'll be doing skids in no time. I mean, on the track, driving your car on the race and track. having it safe with some new brake pads. Exactly. That's exactly what we mean, Nathan. Mm-hmm. JD, that is how you change your brake pads on your R32 Skyline. That's it, Nathan. It's a very straightforward, especially in this hand using this two-pin mechanism. It actually just uh, allows you to slide these pads out and slide new ones in. Very straightforward. Cool. So you don't have to take the caliper off. You nope. don't have to do anything like that. No. Nope. But you need, just... to, you need to lower it. And you need to have experience of putting bread in a toaster. Exactly. Slam it and toast. Whoa! JD put the wheel back on and dropped it off the jack stands, but I uh, forgot to put the ramps under the wheels and the car's too low to get the jack out. It's way too low. Nathan, do you think we should cut to that time we try to hammer out a jack from underneath this particular car? Jeremy, Jeremy's coming. What? Nah, hold up. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, come on. Come on, Nathan. Yes, one more, come oh on. crap! <laughs> come on, Jeremy! This is really hard to do while you're holding a camera. Come on, I feel like a kid at kindergarten trying to bang in nails for the first time. Oh dang it, must! Keep going, just keep going. Ah! Ah, my head! <laughs> I'm literally. <laughs> oh my god! Oh bro! I legit. Oh bro! You good? Are you alright? I thought my head <laughs> was actually stuck in here, bro. I, the car dropped on my face, bro. I thought that was the end. I thought I was gonna get killed by Nissan. Yeah, we're not doing that again. So we're gonna be putting these uh, little ramps yes. under the wheels. So that I don't crush my beautiful <laughs> head and face. By a Datsun. <laughs> that is how you install a... Uh, well, install brake pads, new brake pads on your Skyline. And now we're off to get the slam wagon because uh, we're going to drop off a washing machine. Is that right? Yeah, or a dryer, I think. Yes. But the real question is, Nathan, does it start? Oh! So if you came here just to learn how to put brake pads in your Skyline, you can go now if you want. Or you can stick around and keep hanging out with us. Again, again. That sounds so good. <laughs> what an amazing day. It is now. Beautiful out. We have to, we have to go now, I think. Yes, we have to load the washing machine into the slam wagon. Here it is, guys. The dryer you've all been waiting for. The <laughs> HDYM40. <laughs> dropping the dryer off at JD's sister's place. That's right. I'm I, very proud of the slam wagon. I me too mate. I think that uh, you know even with keeping the seats up and not even falling them down we still managed to fit a dryer in the back. In the back seat as well. We still got heaps of room so for. So practical. Absolutely Nathan. amazing. It is for sale. Hit us up if you're genuinely interest, interested. DM us on those car dudes on the Instagram and that would be mint. It's gonna be so sad to say goodbye. Absolutely Nathan and I think that it's just that time that it has to go. It just has to move on mm. and so do we. Inspiration. On to the next thing. That is how you change the brake pads on your Skyline and how you drop off a dryer at your friend slash family's place. That's right Nathan we had so much fun today. Mm -hmm. So so cool that the Skyline actually now has some fresh brake pads. Just stop it. No, that's your joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that sub button, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. I'm really sorry about what happened on Saturday night with the rugby eye. 57 nil to the All Blacks. What happened, my boy? Oh, he's gonna have a cry.
Sorry, Springbok supporters. Oh, crap, he's getting me out with a pin right. Whoa, this egg is coming out to get me, bro. It would just be a shame, Nathan, if someone had to just crack an egg on your car. 